okay this is the angle of attack indicator which shows up on the flight display shows us the angle of attack the aircraft is actually achieving and it's tied into the stall warning system as well which is very important when we're in icing conditions it actually forms in this probe here which gives us a warning that we're actually in icing conditions and then we take appropriate actions on the flight deck this thing here is pitot probe air goes in this end and essentially tells us how fast we're going uh, airspeed indicator down here this is the external power plugged into the aircraft as we don't have a, an APU that works today as I come on around here I make sure that all these latches are secure and then I have a look at the nose wheels and make sure that the tread on them is okay then we come around to this side of the aircraft if the oxygen system that we have on board over pressurized this little thing pops out and goes red so we know there's a problem with the oxygen system again ice detector on this side and another pitot probe on this side as well we'll then make sure a third uh, pitot probe which is in effect a standby one in case either of the other ones are unserviceable but we'll then come down to here and make sure that these panels are secure that's for drinking water and we have a toilet service panel as well make sure they're secure and closed this is the forward baggage hatch make sure that that's closed as well checking that and this is the forward uh, starboard emergency exit make sure that's closed as well and there are no seals ju jutting out from around the edges we then come down to the fuselage itself this panel here is whenever we're in icing conditions we're in line with the propellers here a lot of the ice that forms on the propellers gets shed and impacts on the fuselage so this is in effect a, a protection a shield on the fuselage to stop the ice from causing any damage to the fuselage up here a little panel which tells us the hydraulic pressure in the brake system so we check that to make sure that's okay we then come down here and then we have a look at the tires tire tread and also on the brake pads here and if you look here you can see that pin sticking out well that's an indicator of brake wear on the brake pads so that the more that sticks out the more brake pad we have on the corresponding one you can see that that pin is sticking in quite a bit in comparison to that one so very shortly those brakes will need replacing so we then come forward checking all these panels again to the propellers themselves and we give the propeller a turn making sure that these fastening bolts up here are secure and the de-icing boots on each propeller there is a de-icing mat here which helps shed ice when we're in icing conditions we make checking the conditions of those as well and we spin the prop round checking each blade and turn make sure everything is okay we then have a look down the engine intake here to make sure that there are no signs of any obstructions or what we call foreign objects down in there because that's where the air goes into the engine this rubber bit here is a heated boot to stop ice from forming again on the intake because we don't want that blocked up and we just take a step back and look inside and make sure the actual intake is clear as well that's very important especially in icing conditions on the leading edge of the wing again is to do with icing uh, air is bled off from the engine and sequentially inflates the boots there are four, four different boots on the leading edge there and as the ice forms these boots expand crack the ice and make it flow away in the airflow so that we, it's very important that we keep that area of the wing clean free of ice because it then affects the air going over the rest of the wing on the right hand side of the aircraft we have a green light in nautical and aviation terms this is the starboard side of the airplane 
And on the left hand side, which is the port side of the earth, then we have a red light. The idea being that at night, when you see the red or green lights, you know whether the aircraft's coming towards you or going away from you. And it's exactly the same on ships as well. These, uh, these funny little things sticking out like loose wires, we call those static wicks. They help discharge the static electricity that builds up on the aircraft as it travels through the air. And they're actually quite important as well because we don't want a build up of static electricity on the aircraft. We then come to this thing here is called this thing here is called an aileron which is the control surface. So if we want to turn the aircraft to the left, we want to raise this wing and lower that wing. So this thing, the aileron, would go down and the one on the other side would go up. So we increase the lift on this wing, decrease it on the other one, and the aircraft turns to the left. And then here, we have called a flap. When we want to go slow and we're coming into land and taking off, that portion of the wing extends outwards and down, and that increases the lift on the wing so that when we're flying at a slower speed and we're getting more lift, and that's very important on takeoff and on landing. We're just checking to make sure that that's in the right position and there are no signs of any damage to the, the flaps. Then we come over here and we're checking this panel here. This is a refueling panel where the refueler connects his, his uh, hose up to. And then there you can see that comes off and he connects his hose up onto that. And we can then actually see how much fuel we've got in the tanks. There we have a digital readout of how much fuel is on board the aircraft. This funny little thing here at the back of the aircraft, you see it says caution, hot APU exhaust keep clear. There's a little tiny jet engine in there which we can use on the ground for pro providing air conditioning and electricity. And the exhaust comes out there. And APU stands for Airborne Power Unit, APU. And then in here, we have the rear baggage hold of the aircraft. It's the main, the main hold for the majority of our bags. We'll just make sure that there's nothing in here that shouldn't be there, i.e. that it's empty. And it is. And you can see inside all the marks of where people's bags have been put back of the aircraft. Essentially, everything on this side here that's checked is exactly the same as on the other side. Okay, everything's in order. Let's go fly.
Welcome to Manchester, folks. <laughs>